Hi everyone, this is your girl Krista Beauty. And um I just wanted to thank those of you that sent me your questions. And unfortunately I can't answer every question right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer every question one at a time. So um but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to you know go through everybody's question and do a video answer for your questions. But today the question I'll be answering is what do you do? when your wife leaves you for another man or when he tell when when your wife tells you that she is in love with another man and you guys actually have a son together so i have five things for you to do and it's just my opinion I've, i'm not married i've never been married so i'm not exactly sure how marriage works or anything but um, from the research I've done and from other, you know, people talking to me about what, what they're going through and all that, I just came up with five things you could do in a situation like that. So the first one is investigate why she's leaving you, okay? It's, it's good to know why she's leaving you because it, sometimes it could be something you did or, you know, it could be tem just temptation. It could whatever it could, whatever it is it's always good to know what the problem is because the the first step of fixing the problem is actually identifying what the problem is so you have i think the first thing you should do is investigate find out what is going on why is she leaving you why do you think she thinks that she's in love with this other person so that's the first thing i think you should do secondly when you find out what the problem is what you should do next is work on yourself, okay? If it's something about you, then maybe you want to see if you can work, work on it. So work on yourself, become a better person physically, spiritually, emotionally, you know. If, if you're a Christian, that's the time to go to God. Pray about it. Physically, you know, exercise. Don't, don't be depressed. You know, eat healthy. Because we, we have this tendency that when we are sad, we, we just want to be on our own and we just lose appetite or, you know, or people deal with sorrow in different ways. But do the opposite of what you feel like doing, okay? If you, if you feel like just being alone or, you no, know, I think it's a good time to hang out with friends, you know, be, be with people and just try to work on yourself. That way you don't get depressed and you, you can feel better about yourself, okay? That's two. So... Number three, I would say you should forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and forgive her. Okay, whatever whatever it is that caused her to leave you, after you found out what the problem is, you should forgive her and also forgive yourself. Now, number four, this might apply to just a few people, but um, if you're a Christian, okay, you would know that marriage is for better or for worse it's still dead do us part okay so my number four on the list would be save her save her in the sense then save her in the sense that you guys are married for better or for worse okay so this is like that for worse part <laughs> so um try to see if you can you can save her whatever it is that is pushing her away you know save her from it basically you know and forgive her like i like i mentioned earlier forgive her forgive yourself and work on your marriage and you know i personally don't believe in divorce i personally think that if you're married it's till that was part so you know whatever the problem is fix it if if it's about her if the problem is about her try to save her that's you know try to work it out and help her save herself basically and um the last thing on my list, number five, would be seek for consolation from God, you know. And pray to God, like I mentioned earlier, it's a good time to get closer to God. Pray hard. God is going to console you and, yeah, help you put things back together. But, I mean, unfortunately, life doesn't always go the way we plan. You know, you might want to make it work and... She, if she, she doesn't want to make it work, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. 
but um just do what you can on your own part and you know let's let's see how that goes okay and i'm so sorry you're going through this and you know i hope that it, it goes well with you i really really do but either way um just take care of yourself and yeah thank you so much and everyone sending your questions and i'm gonna be doing another video answering another question so stay tuned then bye bye